Last week, we saw many high school athletes sign scholarships to play their respective sport in college. Six years ago, Kyle Boyd was one of those student athletes. Our own sports director, Dick Canizales, spent some time with Kyle and has more on his incredible journey. That's right, Doug and Leslie. You know, less than 6% of student athletes who play in high school go on to play college football. Kyle was one of those athletes, but his path to get where he's at now was unconventional. I feel like I'm bearing a weight and that I'm carrying that flag for people that have sacrificed their lives and people that are still serving over there. And um, my brothers that I serve with, you know, I, I, I still feel that every time I carry that flag and I'm honored to do it every time. Serve and protect. It's a motto Kyle Boyd has been used to hearing his entire life. His father, Doug, is in his 27th year as a patrol officer for the Mesquite Police Department. I always had a calling to go serve and to protect and to, you know, do things that people don't want to do. And um, that's, you know, that's just kind of how I've been and how my father is. Six years ago, Kyle was a three-star linebacker at Horn High School. He had scholarship offers from Baylor, Iowa State, Wyoming, and Louisiana Monroe. Kyle signed with Baylor, but then decided a different team needed his service. I decided I just wanted to join the Marine Corps. He endured three months of boot camp, two months of infantry, and deployed twice over four years of service. His unit stopped deploying to Afghanistan three months before he got there, so Kyle never experienced any type of combat. We were disappointed, but at the same time we were thankful, you know, that we all stayed safe and, but, um, you know, we still did our part in providing security in strategic places around the world. In 2015, Kyle was granted early release, and that's when he felt called to fulfill a commitment he made four years earlier. Kyle was someone that was offered scholarship opportunities, and uh, you know, at the, at the moment, uh, he decided that something else was, was more important than playing college football, something bigger, the opportunity to go serve his country. There's no doubt he's the best role model on the Baylor roster, and he's doing this as a walk-on. You know, he's not a walk-on player because he wasn't good enough. He's not a walk-on player because he didn't have opportunities. He's a walk-on player because he decided to sacrifice for all of us. What Boyd provides cannot be measured in statistics. I think Kyle provides uh, a physicality, a maturity, uh, a practice habit that uh, isn't always showing up on the stat sheet, but, but it's something that you need. You need uh, for the guys all around you to, to know that there's players on the football team that are going to sacrifice their body, are going to do their job no matter what. It's not just the physical or mental toughness that Boyd supplies. He's also a blend of a big brother and an emotional touchstone for younger teammates as they adjust to college life both on and off the football field. He's seen the world uh, kind of at a different uh, time and a different place. Uh, and so I think he provides some of that for some of the younger guys. I mean, I have two freshmen in my room and I think provide, uh, Kyle kind of provides a role model uh, in a lot of areas. Well, it's kind of what you expect from a Marine after all, while delivering a vital message that applies just as much on the football field as it does to his teammates. You know, when I came out of the Marine Corps, I hadn't played football in five years, and I was, you know, just as timid and afraid as ever to go actually and try it, you know, because I had no, nothing to expect. I have no high school film. I have no, you know, um, I have no, like, recent film or recent contact with coaches or anything, but, you know, I said, I have to do it. You know, I have to try it, and if, if I don't try it, I'll regret it for my life. While thousands of fans filled the stands at McLean Stadium chanting Sikkim Bears, the one chant running through Cowboy's head remains Semper Fi. We want more good news. This morning, Cal was selected to the academic All Big 12 first team. He's not only taking care of business on the football field, but also in the classroom. Doug and Leslie. That was amazing. Thanks, Nick.